Ford was the first automaker to announce that it's adopting the North American charging standard last year, so it's fitting that it's also the first to unlock Tesla's supercharging network for its drivers this year. We're here with an F-150 Lightning to see how it works. Now the way that Ford is bringing the North American charging system to its drivers is via this adapter here, which it's offering for free to F-150 Lightning and Mach-E drivers at Ford.com for a limited time. Both the F-150 Lightning here and Ford's Mustang Mach-E top out at just below 150 kilowatts for DC fast charging. So this 250 kilowatt supercharger should be able to max either out. Expect around 36 minutes to go from a 10 to 80% state of charge, the DC speed sweet spot for the standard range battery or around 41 minutes if you're spec'd up to the extended range battery. Now, how much is this gonna cost? Supercharging isn't free, and non-Tesla EVs pay more to use the supercharger network than native Tesla vehicles. That said, the prices are still fairly competitive with other DC fast charging networks that I've used. This station uses on-off-peak rates that range from around $0.45 cent per kilowatt hour to around $0.63 cents for non-Tesla vehicles during peak hours like now. For an F-150 Lightning, you could expect to pay between $31 and $56 bucks for a 10 to 80% charge, depending on whether you have the standard or extended range battery and what time you plug in. For the Mach-E, you're looking at $22 to $40. Bucks. Tesla offers a monthly $12.99 supercharging membership for third-party EVs that allows them to charge at the same rates as native models, between $33 and $0.47 cents at this station. At these rates, an F-150 charge drops to between $23 and $43, bucks, and the Mach-E to $16 to $30, again, depending on your battery size and what time you plug in. But if you're planning on doing a lot of supercharging, this isn't a terribly bad deal. For context, many other major DC fast charging networks like EVgo and Electrify America offer similar monthly tiered subscriptions to lock users into lower rates for frequent use. Now, in order to get your free high-speed charge adapter, you'll first need to sign up for a Blue Oval Charge Network account, which is important because that's where you'll put in all of your payment information for plug-in charge payments. Once you do that, you'll be able to use the Ford Blue Charge app in order to find a supercharger the same way you search for any other charger. You go into the search for chargers, give it a second to think, and it will bring up the available chargers. And here we see our Daily City Supercharger there and available stations. We are currently parked at 4A right there. And so it tells us that we're gonna need an adapter. We click that button and we're ready to rock. Or you can use the Charge Assist app in the dashboard to search for superchargers. That will show you in either locations when the supercharger is available and whether you need an adapter. So once you've activated in the app, you will unlock the Tesla plug, which you will connect to the Ford high-speed charging adapter like so. Now you'll take the whole kit and caboodle and plug it into the CCS port of your Ford vehicle. And because of plug-in charge, you don't need to fiddle with a credit card or mess with a touchscreen or anything. All of your payment information is stored in your Ford Blue Oval Charge Network account. You just plug in, wait to charge, unplug, and you're on your way. If you are a Mustang Mach-E or F-150 Lightning owner and you're looking to add over 1,500 extra DC fast charging points to your list, head over to Ford.com slash fast charging adapter to sign up to get yours free until June 30th. And if you're interested in the Lightning or the Mach-E, head over to CNET.com where we've got full reviews of both of those EVs.